Hello everyone, welcome back once again to Career Q, a place to curate your career. In today's video, I will be talking to you all about the different job profiles that Salesforce has. I had created a previous video on Salesforce talking about this tool, uh, what this technology includes, how much you can expect and the different job roles but then I came to know that you know there are several other job roles that I have not discussed I had just discussed two broad job roles uh, and there are many 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 more that have come into existence in quite some time and so I am making the video here in today's video you will get to know all about the different profiles or the different job roles and responsibilities that Salesforce profiles have and what are the average salaries that you know when if you go into that profile how much you can expect as a fresher and as your as an experienced person also whether you can get into a profile uh, as a fresher or not. So these are all the different things that we are going to discuss in this video. Do watch the video to the end and without a further ado, let's get started. So the first profile is that of Salesforce Administrator. Salesforce, as a Salesforce Administrator, you will be responsible for administrating the entire tool and the user management, the data management, the security, etc so you know the overall administration configuration and maintenance of the entire salesforce platform will be something that you will be taking care of when you have become a salesforce administrator this is one profile where you can delve even if you are a fresher and if you are a fresher and you're going into salesforce administration then your initial salary that is salary as a fresher will be the basic uh, salary that is the nominal one that we get in IT that is from 4 to 6 LPA however it's not a figure to worry about within a span of two to three years of experience your salary can get increased to anywhere in between 8 to 12 LPA so this is actually a very good domain if you are someone who is not looking for a development role and who is not comfortable in coding then Salesforce administrator might be the one role that is best suited for you. Next in line comes the Salesforce developer. Salesforce developers are people who are responsible for development and customization of the Salesforce platform as per the business requirements. So whatever is the requirement for their particular business or their particular organization or their particular project, a Salesforce developer is a person who develops or customizes the platform based on its requirements. This customization can include creation of custom objects, fields, triggers, visual force pages and a lot more. Not to forget that you can also be in charge of developing custom integration and the lightning components of Salesforce platform. So uh, anyone who is interested in development, a lot of development and uh, different development roles and want to be in modern and niche technologies, then Salesforce developer is the best suited for you. Even this profile takes in both uh, freshers as well as experienced the Salesforce developer profile has a bit uh, higher salary when compared to the Salesforce administrator profile even if freshers are taken in so for Sa Salesforce developer fresher profile the salary becomes somewhere around 6 to 8 LPA which within a span of 3 to 4 years grows to somewhere in between 10 to 15 LPA. So this is definitely a profile that you can think about making your career in. Next in line comes the role of Salesforce Consultant. As a Salesforce Consultant, you will be providing guidance and support to the clients such that they are able to take the maximum advantage of this platform and they are able to use this platform to its maximum potential. So, you know, uh, anything that the client doesn't know they will come back to you and you need to have an answer to it. Uh, of course, you will be someone who will be on the back end supported by the administration team and the development team. However, 
the daily interactions between clients will happen with a Salesforce consultant. Now here in this profile, we find that freshers generally don't uh, get a job role into uh, or they find a bit of a struggle because uh, huh, if you are a management fresher, if you are someone who has done your MBA and then you are joining in as a fresher, then definitely you can be uh, hired as a Salesforce consultant. But you know, for uh, engineering freshers, BTEC or BCA, those freshers, uh, becoming a Salesforce consultant is something that uh, we we don't hear a lot about. So the average fresher salary for a Salesforce consultant is somewhere in between 8 to 10 LPA. And this in turn grows within a few years when you get some experience. This salary or uh, this average figure grows from uh, 10 LPA to somewhere in between 12 to 20 LPA. It can also be higher for higher organizations or for business requirements as per the organization. So, you know, this is one field that you can think about if, again, you are not uh, someone who wants to pursue a lot of coding, uh, but, you know, you have pursued your management or you have uh, built up something, you have prior experience on Salesforce, then you can definitely dream of becoming a Salesforce consultant. Next in line is a Salesforce business analyst. As a Salesforce business analyst, you will be required to talk about business requirements. You will be sitting with uh, all the business stakeholders of the organization and understanding the different business requirements that your organization or your clients are having and providing solutions based on your knowledge and the business requirements that your client has just told you. You will be required to translate all of these business requirements on the Salesforce platform such that you know all of these requirements are met and your business or your client's business takes a boom and is able to utilize this platform on a whole. At the same time, you will be needing to do some testing and the deployment of the solutions that have been created. These solutions can be created either by you or by the uh, development team that is working in sync with you. However, your main job is to understand what these requirements are and translate these requirements to business solutions such that your client or your organization uh, gets the profit out of that. As a fresher, it is definitely one role that you can get into if you do not want to get involved with much of coding. However, this field is not like extremely out of coding. It will include some bit of it, but your job will not remain restricted to backend coding. You will be having a lot of exposure, a lot of client interactions and a lot of, uh, you know, other job roles apart from development as well. As a fresher, when you get into uh, any organization as Salesforce business analyst, your job or your average salary can be somewhere in between 6 to 8 LPA, which will increase eventually. As an experienced person, you can earn somewhere in between 12 to 15 LPA. Now, the next job role is that of a Salesforce architect. As a Salesforce architect, you need to have end-to-end -end knowledge. You need to be able to understand what are the changes that the uh, Salesforce platform needs to undergo. And you also should be able to understand the client requirements. So a Salesforce architect is one person who hears what the client's requirements are and who knows what particular changes need to be done on the Salesforce platform, which will be able to help yourself or your uh, organization accomplish the goals that were told to you. You need to have both these skills that is uh, functional as well as technical. You need to understand the client requirements and then you have to pass it on to your admin teams and to your development teams. And once they have worked on the solution, you have to, of course, guide them what the solution uh, building should look like. You have to work with uh, on the data modeling. You have to work on the security. And after the things have been created or manipulated, uh, 
changed after doing those things you need to be someone who's understanding everything what has been changed and then who's able to test and see whether the results are being uh, you know coming in sync with the requirements or not so your job is end to end and that is why as a salesforce architect we don't see uh, even a single fresher uh, getting a job this is actually not a role for freshers you will get a uh, hold of this role only when you have spent you know five to six years in salesforce uh, in whichever role and you need to be having uh, both functional experience wherein you have interacted and uh, talked with a lot of clients and other stakeholders and at the same time you need to have a good coding background wherein you have spent some time actually building those solutions that today you will be talking or suggesting or guiding about so uh, as i've said this is not a role that freshers are hired for but as an experienced person whenever you get hired generally a person with 5 to 6 or 6 to 7 years of experience get hired for the role of solution architect and the salary package is something that is really really good you can expect an average salary of somewhere in between 20 to 40 lpa and this can only increase for higher organizations so this is the average package that i have discussed if you are working for you know big clients and big organizations then this package will be definitely higher than the average figure so that is uh, the role of salesforce architect next we move on to the role of salesforce marketing cloud specialist so salesforce marketing cloud specialist who is this person so there is a tool called the salesforce marketing cloud which is responsible for marketing uh, of any business and people who have an experience or an exposure to this tool get hired as the salesforce marketing cloud specialist as a specialist of this field you will be responsible for configuring and maintaining this tool and also taking out the relevant details automating the marketing uh, system or the scenario that is running in the particular organization and a lot more all will be done using this particular tool uh, this tool is actually uh, really helpful and is used for customer engagement and customer acquisition so you have to you know you can do a powerful powerful marketing if you are having or if you are a specialist of this tool so as a salesforce marketing cloud specialist you do get hired uh, if you are coming from a marketing background even if you have not uh, done mba but you are coming from a marketing background then you can get into this role as a fresher and as a fresher when you get into this role your average salary can be somewhere in between 5 to 8 lpa which over the years will further increase to 8 to 15 LPA. So this is also one field that does not require much of coding. However, if you are building some automation uh, parts, then you might be required to learn a little bit of coding. However, uh, generally it is the marketing skill that is majorly focused upon when we talk about this uh, marketing specialist role. Apart from these, there are some other roles that have come into existence. One of this is Salesforce Program Manager or Salesforce Project Manager. As a Salesforce uh, Project Manager, you will be uh, looking in, overviewing all the Salesforce projects that are uh, being run in your organization. Our Salesforce Project Manager is a really, really senior person. Generally, the Salesforce architects, they get on to be promoted as a Salesforce Project Managers. Uh, and we do not see and we cannot see actually uh, freshers getting hired for this role. Uh, the average salary of a Salesforce Project Manager also ranges in between 30 to 40 LPA. And, you know, this can increase depending on the organization that you're working for. Uh, other roles are that of Salesforce Support Specialist, who is responsible to provide you support when you, you know, you are someone who is using as an end user, you are using the Salesforce platform. Then uh, if you are finding some issues, then you can come back to the Salesforce Support Specialist to get um, support and maintenance from these guys. 
Uh, another role that we often find in the market is that of Salesforce solution engineers. Uh, these are in sync with uh, the Salesforce development team and the Salesforce uh, architect team they come in between and these are some senior people only but you can definitely dream of becoming a salesforce solution engineer and another uh, very new role that we are finding in this market or in this industry is that of salesforce technical writers so you know you have to uh, know all about this salesforce platform and how it's working what is working what is not working for your organization specifically so everything you need to have a deep dive or in-depth knowledge and understanding of this platform to become a Salesforce technical writer. So these are the multiple roles and these uh, these roles are only going to increase in uh, the near future. These are the multiple roles that you can uh, aim for when you are going in for Salesforce and you can choose depending upon your level of experience, your knowledge and your um, interest of course and you can build a very bright career as a Salesforce professional. That's all that I have for you in today's video. If there's any other tool technology about which you want me to discuss, please put them down in the comment section. Uh, also, if you want to connect with me one to one, then come over to topmate.io. I will try to help and resolve all the different kinds of issues that you're facing. And yes, uh, I'll come again tomorrow with another new video. Till then, stay tuned to Career Q. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.